So why not? I thought we'd take a look at the headlines. If you like the video, I hope you will like it. And I hope you've subscribed. If you haven't, please do so. Thank you so much for watching. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, it couldn't be simpler. I'll just get the newspaper, read a few headlines, and see what uh, pops out, and we'll do a reading on that. Well, it won't be hard. I mean, I'm just going to look at the paper, and I've already kind of circled a couple things that are interesting to me. And um, right off the bat, uh, the Taliban seal the airport. So they're sealing, well, it means their airport. They're in charge. And, uh, and of course, the airlifts are uh, slowing down. And then the U.S., how are we preparing for the new uh, refugees? How will that go? So those are kind of two things right off the front page that I thought we'd... Uh, Let's do a reading on it. So this is Llewellyn's Classic Tarot, a uh, book by Barbara Moore and illustrations by Eugene Smith. Love the box that this comes in. It's got that neat uh, magnetic clasp on there that I'm just a sucker for. The book is very good. I mean, it's a full color book. It's got very good um, suggestions for how you can use these cards in the divination. And then it talks a little bit in here also about uh, Barbara Moore, Eugene Smith. So I, I like the book. The cards, I mean, everything about this works. You can, you've got a little ribbon. If you pull the book out, it then it double, does double duty to help get the cards out. And let me show you those. Now, if I understand correctly, the idea that Llewellyn had is that this is the right away system, but it is a clearer, uh, less cluttered um, uh, images for the uh, divination uh, of the cards. So that's apparently was his uh, remit to um, the uh, illustrator or the artist, uh, Eugene Smith. I like to spread them out like this so you can get a chance to, you know, just look at the cards. If you don't look at cards a lot, or maybe you're thinking about buying some cards and you're thinking about these and you run across this and this gives you an idea if you'd like to have them. I don't know. I just like to spread them out this way. It's an alternative way of shuffling them. And it works really well if you're doing a reading and you have someone who might not feel comfortable shuffling the cards, but at least you can kind of get their energy uh, into the uh, cards this way. So this is classic tarot and I like them a lot. So the Taliban, they seal uh, the airport and we're, they're getting fewer and fewer airlifts. So how is that all that going to work out? The Taliban sealing the airport. How? Well, obviously, but I mean, is this, isn't this already agreed upon? Isn't this already agreed upon? I mean, eventually they were going to have to take over their airport anyway. And at some point we're already recognizing Taliban as the government. So at some point we're invading the government and but how do we keep doing that and get our people out uh, without causing uh, another war? So that's interesting. At what point uh, well, you know, we don't know what was negotiated beforehand and so we don't know how they're dealing with this. So the question I guess we can ask is will the Taliban sealing the airport cause us to um, I can't say go to war. Will the Taliban sitting in the airport cause us to respond with firepower? Will the Taliban sitting in the airport cause us, the USA, hey, to respond with firepower? Let's see. And we'll take six cards. One, two, three, four, five and six and I think uh, I'm not going to commit to a full Celtic cross we'll just see how it goes because I want to get a couple other questions in here so these six cards so um, the Taliban sealing the airport is that going to cause us to respond uh, with military uh, might signify card for that is oh my god that's not good death um, so yeah you know what I don't usually like to, to take this card literally, but we're talking about a heavy subject here. So it looks like, yeah, there could be more coming. Or to take a lighter side, you know, this really traditionally means just a definite end to a cycle. But if you look in this card, I mean, 
the victor here is death. And if that doesn't look like the kind of an evil flag those folks would be carrying, I don't know what does, even down to the dress of death. And then the one who has been uh, crushed is the king. And uh, yeah, so uh, this, uh, if that were the only card I drew on this, I would say this doesn't look good for us. The challenge to that then is um, the Seven of Cups is, um, Seven of Cups is really having a lot of choices. And um, so the challenge to more death are the choices, obviously, that we make, I suppose. And what are the choices that we have here? We have a castle, we have jewels, we have a laurel wreath, we have a dragon, we have a serpent. Uh, we have, I don't know what this head is supposed to represent. And then we have a saintly looking figure here. So the challenge to this are the choices, the compassionate choices, uh, the emotional, the really meaningful choices that we have to make. Okay, the uh, basis of this reading, and remember, the question is, uh, will the Taliban sitting in the airport cause us to respond militarily? And the signifier card right off the bat is death. Okay, the basis of this was uh, the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is, uh, you know, like, like happy family, everything lovely, um, celebrations, wealth, you know, family, joy, all the good stuff, uh, rainbows and sunshine. So that's what the Ten of Cups is. And I don't know when it was that, but um, th so that's kind of a, mis a mystery to me. But the past of this reading then is, uh, oh, yeah, broken hearts. Well, that's obvious. You know, it's just been a nightmare, the whole thing. The sky of this reading then is temperance, of course. That it was what we were shooting for, to have some sort of a balance, some sort of an equal way to uh, to get out of this mess. And um, and the likely outcome of this, the question being, let me remind you, uh, Taliban sealing the airport specifically, is that going to cause us to respond militarily? It looks like it's yes with a lot of heartache. And oh yeah, because we have to seek justice. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so that's that's enough said there. The second part of that, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to look into how the United States is um, going to, uh, how are we going to do with the, the refugees that are coming in now? How are we going to uh, uh, decide? Are we going to do well? Are we going to do poorly? Uh, how are we going to do? Seems like a really vague question to ask. Uh, why don't I just say, um, well, that might be okay. We'll try that. Okay, so so for the refugees that, that the United States takes in, not the world or other countries, but the United States, um, how will we do with it? I mean, we have all this conflict now about us versus them uh, with just the people who are in the country right now. And now we're adding a whole other layer to that. So how is the United States going to do with this um, refugee, this new refugee situation? Six cards for that. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Okay. Scoop all these up and put them back. Probably just a dyadic cross, but we'll see how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is just six cards. So the signifier of this question is how will the U.S. do with the uh, new Afghan re refugee situation? So the King of Swords. Um, it's absolutely right. I mean, we have to uh, make the rules known. This is how this is going to operate. I think we have to take a firm hand, especially with these refugees. And, and let them know that this is how things work here. The uh, challenge to that then is the emperor. The emperor. I don't know. Could this be the actual Taliban itself? I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to say the Taliban is is, is stronger than us because an emperor seems to me to be uh, um, more significant than a king of swords. Could be us still. But uh, let's see what the, how this reads out. How uh, is the U.S. going to do with the um, uh, refugees coming down? And all this authority. Author authoritative figures here are very interesting. The, the base of this reading then, ah, four of wands, which are, which are you know, wands are plans and motion and uh, moving forward and actions. And uh, these are celebrations of that. So the basis of this reading then could be the celebration of having gotten those folks uh, out of there. Small celebration. You know, that was a very first step is uh, getting them out of there. Um, the, um, Past of this is the hermit. So having to, I mean, we needed to really take our time, make the plan, and look where we were stepping. And uh, I think it's too late for that. We, we missed that part. 
uh, the sky of this reading is uh, the secrets that are revealed and, and, and revealed to us. Because I don't think uh, the United States people understood the primitive nature of what uh, we had been doing over there uh, with those people for 20 years. I just don't think we understood it. Uh, and then the, um, the but this doesn't address the, the question because I'm asking, how are we going to do with them? So uh, rules have to be known. Um, I think this has to still be the United States to say, you know what, because this uh, emperor is holding the world. And I can't give this much authority to that uh, leader over there. So this has to be the United States. And uh, us just taking um, the stance that, um, that, that we are the authority. And uh, we have to take this uh, four of one celebrations as, as getting them out alive. Uh, we missed the chance for this thoughtful um, uh, looking forward. All the secrets have been revealed. And the likely outcome, oh, look at this. I love that. It's the three of cups. Cups are compassion and emotion and things that really have meaning. And these are celebrations. And I love it that it's three women celebrating with their hair flowing, wearing the sort of dresses that they want to wear, dancing around with their legs bare and big smiles on their faces. So, yeah, that's a lovely way for that, too. So it will end up OK. But the uh, rules have to be known uh, now that we know uh, what's going on. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was fun. Two quick uh, dietic crosses and uh, right from the newspaper. So. We'll try it again. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.